So this one here is for my county cousins. Currently incarcerated for crimes committed and or confess contributing to the new Jim Crow. My county cousins. Not to be confused by my country cousins currently in Kansas cooking cornbread and collard greens in the kitchen. No, those cousins you see every summer. These cousins you see every quarter century. In county. Constantly making collect calls inquiring about commissary. Cursed to forever circulate in and out of this country's industrial prison complex constructed for collecting coons for orange and black continue. My cousin used to wear busted jeans to grandma's Christian church in Chatham. My cousin was cool enough to make the most sadiddy girl crack a smile. Was the same cousin. I saw clinch a clutch and rage the sight of his brother's blood on concrete. Make that gun cry for days until one day. A crooked Chicago cop came and caged my cousin before college. And now my family only congregates in courtrooms. I can hear the jury concluding the caucus that could decide his fate, but y'all, I can't concentrate. All I could do is think about when we were kids and how we used to play cops and robbers on the corner and the pleasure I got each time my cousin was caught and placed in imaginary cuffs. But now guilt creeps my conscience for I am no different from these cops turned Klansmen for how quickly I was willing to make a criminal out of my kin. Maybe I could have called more. Reminded him of the summers we spent consuming carousels and cotton candy. My cousin was a fragile child. Would hear thunder strike and cry to cuddle. Would make big mama colorful creations until only crumbs were left of his Crayolas. That's who he is. Not the creature who the council called capital murderer claiming he's responsible for this carcass. Not even Cochran could convince me my cousin was capable of killing anyone who would have thought. That before my cousin could finesse Father Time out of 18th candle or convince clocks and calendars to give him the combination to eternity that his life will become a compilation of tears. Because now my mother cries when the gavel cries and our people cry when them cuffs cry and them folks cry when them bars cry and I cry and I cry and I cry and I cry until my grandmother sighs and say quit that crime boy. Because better he be in county than a casket.